at this point, it's a great honor for me and a great personal pleasure to introduce to you Dick Rogers. <laughs> Dick, in writing all these wonderful songs, you have collaborated with lyricists. And it is a thing of great interest to everyone to hear what you have to say about the lyricists you've worked with. Well, you know, I've only had two. Uh, I had my first show in 1920, and I've only worked with two men in all that time. One was Larry Hart, and that was for 24 years. And the second was, is Oscar Hammerstein. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just 10 years now since we started working together. And you start thinking back about the 10 years, and you wonder what you've learned. Well, outside of a great deal of technique that I've learned, I've learned a great deal about a man. And coming in on the train this morning from Connecticut, I sat there knowing that you and I were going to talk about this. Mm -hmm. And I wondered about this man. And I said, man, this is, you know, playing around with words. A gentleman. Then I thought of the derivation of that word. And it's very simple, it's a gentleman. He really is. This is a gentle man. He has compassion. Mm -hmm. His compassion gets in his work. And his work somehow gets into people's insides. Mm -hmm. And this is a very good transference. This is important. And everything else about him you know. You know about the hits. You know, too, about the compassion. But I think it's important to state it. Because it has so much to do with these songs. So much to do with this work that we're trying to do. And it comes from a gentle man. So these are the two men you've worked with? Yeah. Well, uh, in your collaboration, um, one thing comes to my mind that, of course, I heard so much about the fabulous early days that you had in the theater. And, of course, about a girl called Margot Hopkins, uh, who was, I believe, your first uh, uh, who was your rehearsal pianist in the first Gary Gaitis. Yes, she was the rehearsal pianist for that. And there's a kind of sweet story about it. That was 1925. That was 1925 when you were only a pup. And uh, Margot walked into the Garrick Theater and said she wanted to be the rehearsal pianist. Mm -hmm. Well, that show was put on with a shoestring. Nobody had any money, and I said to her, well, we can't pay you. And she said, well, I don't want to get paid, I just want to play. And she sat down at the piano, and she played for me, and she played beautifully. And at that price, she got the job. <laughs> and uh, she's been playing my rehearsals ever since. 